Guys, what is up? It is Rick Arder. Just want to give you guys a little update here for all that cares about Folding at Home and the Overclocking Legends Folding at Home team, which I started. Um, and here's our results as of right now. We are doing good. That helps it all right there. Tearing it up, man. Toast is just holding the team. Him and Spectre 2.0. The dude just came out of nowhere, man. Smoked me. But that's cool. I'm in fourth place. It's all good. And I got my friend down there, Budski420. Lives down the street from me. He's a cool guy. Got an 8800 GT folding GPU 2 client. I believe that's what it's called. And we got quite a bit, quite a few people on here. You guys, everybody's results here, so I'm fair. And I guess PS3 there, I guess he's running a PS3, I would imagine. So yeah, we got a bunch of guys in here. Thanks a lot for everybody who joined. Um, I know it's hard to tell that our contribution's making a difference, but one day, hopefully, all of this, um, you know, effort that we're doing here with our hardware and our extra money that we pay every month on the electric bill will come in good use uh, one day hopefully before we all die here is our current stats um, CPUs within the last 50 days 47 very respectable we're almost at 50 um, active processors uh, 153751 team number grand score 265,989 very nice. And working account, 724, not bad. And we've, I mean, we haven't been doing this for very long at all. Maybe a little over a, a month, maybe. Maybe less. I don't even know. Time goes by crazy. But, uh, I mean, as you can see, there's our rank. So we're not doing too bad. So I'll put this uh, in the sidebar so you guys can check it out. And uh, I guess I'll show you guys what I'm running right now. Got two clients running there. Here's our. Uh, sorry, I'm terrible with this. We're only running at a uh, 3.6 because uh, I don't know. I just don't like running this high voltage as it takes to get four gigahertz out of this, and it really doesn't seem like it runs any quicker. So, you know, I'm not worried about it, really. I need to save the CPU anyway. I'd like to get rid of it. Here's our RAM. 400. 1 to 1. 4, 4, 4, 12. 2.1 volts. Maybe it's 2.05. I'm not even sure, but... Temperatures. 100% load. Always reads warmer. Hard drive time. Yeah, I have a, I have a fan that's kind of ghetto rigged on my hard drives right now. It fell off, and that's why the temperature of my hard drive there max is 43 and 42. You should see our GeForce 7600 GT running a cool 40 Celsius. And yeah, if you guys are wondering why my temperatures are so high, I mean they're not bad. It's mainly the configuration of fan that I got on the true it's almost running passive because the fan is pretty much as low as it goes most of the time so it really doesn't pull too much airflow through it but I'll make another video of that and um, that's about it oh yeah and it's like 80 something degrees in here Fahrenheit I don't know what that is in Celsius but yeah I guess that's about it guys Let's see we got a few things going there Two clients. Ooh. But yeah, this thing, I mean, we go pretty good. As you can see, we'll scroll through some stuff here. There's a lot of stuff. And my wireless internet sucks, so sometimes, I mean, I, I've had to have lost two or three at least, uh, working units at least, 
just because my wireless internet is crap and it sucks. You can see it's actually right down there. It's my antenna right there. So yeah, there's my stickers. Gotta love the stickers. We got some more stickers on there. One of my stickers fell off. I'm sad. Yeah, I took all the ones off my case and put them on my monitor because I figured I'm gonna have this monitor longer than I'll have that case or any other hardware for that matter. I love this monitor. Westinghouse 22 inch 1680 by 1050 700 to 1 contrast I think it is. Widescreen. Nice. But alright guys, that's it. I won't bore you any longer. Have a great day.